Hey y'all, welcome back to Mom Before Life. My name is Trina and today girl is Monday. Um, I hope y'all are having a blessed week. The kids are after school this week, so I am enjoying that, honey. I am so glad I didn't have to get up at 5.30, but I did have to get up at 7.30. Control has wrestling practice this week from 9 to 11, so not as early, not as early of a start as I normally have, but it's cool. It's 11, 17 right now, so I'm waiting for him to come out. I would go in there, but honey, I'm not dressed to be around people, which I'm starting to realize I need to start being more presentable because I'm comfortable in my hobo form, but I'm not comfortable going around people, especially when it's dealing with my children. I'm thinking about putting a plastic in. That's what I'm pretty sure I'm going to do. But y'all, this boy's supposed to be at done at 11 o'clock, but if it's 11, it's almost 11.20. Like, I got stuff to do. I'm supposed to already be home by now. <laughs> I'm probably about to have to go in and see what's taking so long, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and hopefully he come out soon. <sighs> y'all, I wish somebody would tell me how hard parenting was. Like literally sat me down and told me how hard parenting was before I had children. Cause I had kids, y'all. I started having children when I was 17. So I was a baby having babies and I just always assumed that all you need to do is love your children and that everything will be great, y'all. <laughs> and that is not parenting. Loving your children is not parenting. It's really, truly not. Like, that is an aspect of parenting, but it's not, like, actually parenting. And, baby, I'm, I'm going through it. I'm going through it. Parenting is hard. Let me just say that, y'all. But I'm at Uncle Marcus' house waiting on him to come out got a big old bag of clothes i gotta donate let me call him actually because i've been sitting out here normally he hear me when i pull up but he has not come out so i'm gonna assume he didn't hear me but it's rough y'all it's rough especially when you are parenting when you had to reparent yourself okay Hey, I'm outside. All right, here I come. All right. <sighs> Y'all just need a minute to just relax, for real, because I don't know. I don't know. I really have issues with control. Usually, he's my easy shell, but, like, I will say, when I do have to get onto him, I do have to fuss at him. Y'all, he act like, he act like I didn't disown him or something. Like, hmm? What is what? In the bag. Oh, I gotta go drop that off. That's my donations. Okay. But yeah, he act. And I will say, honestly, I do understand that. Like, I do acknowledge that sometimes, honey, I have a very venomous tongue. Y'all know that Bible verse that says, I'm out of the heart. Out of the mouth is comes out what's in the heart. Like it took me a very long time, much longer than what it should have for me to realize that the hate in my heart that I thought was specifically just for my parents and for people who did me wrong. When you have hate in your heart, that's just what you got in your heart. So it's gonna come out in situations that have nothing to do with that. And while today i will say for the most part i don't believe that i was venomous with my speech i do believe that i probably did offend him and i feel bad i do feel bad but at the same time it's like child we can't have this every single time i correct you or every single time i fuss at you like i just need to breathe honey i just need to breathe y'all we are about to drop off these donations all right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, honey, how are you? All right. Do y'all take like small uh, furniture, like tables and like organizing bins? Yeah, if they're small like that, yeah. Okay. Do. All right. Want to look inside? Uh, sure. Let me see what we got. Clothes, women's clothes, baby clothes. That's lovely. That's my cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Aww. Men's pants, shirts, jackets. Okay, so and this opens up like once a month. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We got we're opening this 14th, and then we're opening I think the 21st. 
and then we're gonna open one time in november okay and just it pretty much is free from what i see oh, yeah. all of it that's a blessing well i know uh, people are giving it to us instead of goodwill because of how well, high they are. okay yes indeed that's why i was like i'd rather give it to some Most people of my clothes come from the church I, that's a blessing you know? yes and then these are regular um, women's clothes those are more plus size clothes plus okay. size shirts that's we a have blessing. a stroller that is nice yes indeed well i will definitely if you know anybody needs anything i, I will mean, my goodness yeah it i will that y'all i did not get enough footage for yesterday and i didn't want to leave it just like a half of a vlog so we just gonna finish the vlog up today um I really want to get my light fixed so I can start recording me cooking and cleaning a lot of stuff I do at night and unfortunately it is you know it's dark by then and y'all know the light has not been fixed yet and it's not it's not like a light issue where I just need to change the light bulb it's like maintenance need to come and do their thing and you know get the light fixed but um we are at Cantrell's wrestling practice y'all the boys supposed to be on break this week everybody on break this week but the coach got them going to uh wrestling practice every day from 9 to 11 in the morning which is fine i dropped him off this morning and we are up here on time to pick him up i like literally am like super hard on myself for a lot of things but like at the same time like i'm in this space where i'm starting to acknowledge like the things that i do right as well as like what i do wrong and things that i could do better and like I just remember growing up as a teen i never felt like i could talk to my mom i never or my parents like i never felt like i could express my frustration with their parenting or like feel like i could give them feedback on like how their actions affect me and i'm grateful that like i allow my sons to do that with me respectfully of course but like i try to provide a safe space for them to talk and like yesterday like i said me and control had an issue and i ended up running around with marcus you know doing all that and then afterward like i gave him some time to talk because i tried to talk to him when i got back to the house when we came back to the house i tried to talk to him and he was just not trying to hear like it just we weren't able to hear each other and then i left went running around with marcus and then when i came back we were able to talk and you know he was in a much better mind space i was in a much better mind space and we both realized that there were some things that we can fix so that we don't have this problem anymore. And so I'm just I'm just grateful to the most high for that because I know there's nothing but him. Because a lot of times we can't help but repeat what we've been shown. But, you know, by the grace of God, like I said, we could always do better if we choose to do better. And so hopefully that helps my grandchildren out when it comes to my baby being a parent, if he chooses to be a parent, y'all. But um, today, we're going to go to the park. I'm about to go back home, though, and do some more laundry, do some more cleaning. This week, since they're out of school, I really wanted to do, like, a deep cleaning, get all of the laundry completely done, uh, wash our linens, all of that stuff. Like, I just need to get caught up. So, yeah, that's what we're doing, y'all. But I'm waiting on this boy to come out. I sent to Sean to go up there. I showed him where he got to go. And the parking is so terrible on the side of the building, y'all. You can't get a spot in, in nowhere. So um, I had to show him where I was gonna be parked, and so he could run up there, y'all, cause he dressed, baby. I'm, I'm still in pajamas, baby. I, I ain't done nothing but clean and cook pancakes this morning. So yeah. <laughs> I like the spot array. So basically, it's like I'll, so the hand that's on their arm will go like this, and then the other hand will go like this. And they're gonna go like this. A good little walk. It's late on in the evening. Got the fam out. I was trying to get a mile and I assume walking around where my sister lives will give me a mile, but it's probably gonna give me like a half a mile. So I'm trying to get my mile time down. I'm averaging about 22 to 25 minutes uh, for a mile. I'm trying to get it down below 20. Oh, you look good. Oh, it. Is that now? Is that now? We ended the day off very chill. Oh my gosh, y'all. When I say my baby girl is getting so big, and she loves her some Gracie Corner. I don't know what I'm going to get her for her birthday coming up, yes, but sir. it definitely has something to do with some Gracie's Corner. But on this on? night, while well, we were over there, my sister and her husband started up the pit. And the kids did roast everyone. some marshmallows, y'all. It just <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't cold at all. So I, I didn't want to partake in the activities. But it was nice watching the kids 
Um, it cracks me up, y'all. My kids, for the most part, dress for the weather, except Contrail, baby. We want it to be cold around us while we dress warmly. <laughs> y'all be blessed.